Good morning slash afternoon slash evening to you and uh, today we carry on with our narrow gauge adventures. Today is especially exciting as we meet two interesting new characters, Stepney and a bad tempered steamroller called George. Duncan becomes very rude and Reneas officially returns to service. Uh, first of all though, Peter Sam gets a special funnel. Uh, you forgot to mention the Polish invasion. Polish invasion? That's Polish, not Polish. Bet you feel like a right idiot. How, well, how was I supposed to know? Spelling the same like that is asking for trouble. So Mr Sheen isn't Polish. <laughs> n- n- no, he- he's just a mascot for a, a brand of Polish. I think we better <laughs> move on, don't you? Yeah, but you can see how one gets confused. You can, yeah. <laughs> and I want to clear up Mr Sheen is not Polish. <laughs> <laughs> Episode one is uh, featuring Calico's favourite narrow gauge engine, Peter Sam. Peter Sam. In special funnel. Uh, question one is, what do the torrents threaten to do? A, wash the line away, B, sweep Rusty away, C, cause a landslide, or D, wash away the trees on the riverbank? Ah, they threaten to... Um, they threaten the soda with uh, subsidence, I believe. What? Uh, sweep the... Uh, track away wash the track away yes I'll accept sweep the line uh, wash the line away yes question two according to Rusty's driver where has the washout occurred a near the station b near the yard c near the quarry or d near the tunnel near the tunnel it is indeed and we're steaming along today such a terrible pun I know we haven't done it for a while (laughs) Question three. What had hit Peter Sam in the tunnel? A. A snowball. B. A brick. C. An icicle. Or D. Another engine. (laughs) I'm sure if an engine hit him, he wouldn't just lose his funnel. And and who's there to throw the snowball? I don't know. His driver? (laughs) (laughs) Um, No. uh, It was an icicle. It was an icicle. Question four. After his funnel is knocked off... What do Peter Sam's crew use to control the smoke? A. A plastic tube. B. A hose. C. A drain pipe. Or D. A tin can. A funnel shaped drain pipe, I do believe. Yes, a curiously <laughs> shaped. <laughs> Peculiously placed. Yeah, yeah. Just happened to look like a funnel. Question 5. Who sings a song about Peter Sam's drain pipe? A. Duke. <laughs> B. Scarlowy. C. Duncan. Or D. Sir Handel. Uh, that one is the little Sir Handel. It is little Sir Handel singing about Peter How's it Sam's go? drain pipe. How's it go? Peter Sam said again and again that his new funnel would put, put us to shame. shame. He went into a tunnel, tunnel, lost his old funnel, funnel, and now oh, his, his famous th- funnel's a drain. Ah. There you go. Very good song it was. Yeah. We move on now. Five out of five so far. Move on now to episode two, where we meet bad tempered steamroller George. Um. In question one of Steamroller, which is the name of the episode, yeah. is what does Peter Sam say the engines all teased him about at first? A. His name. B. His special funnel. C. His handling of the trucks. Or D. His paintwork. Uh, I believe it was his funnel. It was, and that was something to laugh about, wasn't it? Very, it looked like the fat controller had sat on it. <laughs> question two. What does George want to do with the railways? A. Turn them into car parks. B. Turn them into fields. C. Turn them into roads. Or D. Preserve them. Ah, turn them into roads. He does. Not a car park with a king buried under it. No. The last Englishman to be found in Leicester. <laughs> yeah, that's very good. Question, question three. What does a sign at the level crossing say? A. One way. B. Proceed with caution. C, diversion, or D, give way? I've seen a lot of diversion signs on our roads recently. (laughs) I expect you probably have. But none saying, beware of potholes. (laughs) No, it's funny that, isn't it? No, the sign does say, give way. It does say, give way. (laughs) means that the uh, road's in danger of collapse, so it's going to give way. Yeah, it's not telling you to give way to anybody else. No, no. It's it's going to give way if you stay on it too long. That's right. (laughs) Be quick. <laughs> Be quick, it's going to give way. You can go on it, but I wouldn't advise it. Question four. When George and the men go away, which other road vehicle can be seen? A. Bertie, B. Trevor, C. Terence, or D. Bulgy? 
Well, I can see a bus, and it's uh, considering that only one bus has a name. I'm going to say Berto. You forgot about Bulgy, he has a name. Yes, but he's a double decker bus. Still a bus. But he's a double decker bus. So you're sure it's Berto? And he's a hen house now, sure? anyway, so I wouldn't think he'd made an appearance. Yes, but he'll be restored soon, I expect. Well, I imagine so. It'd be the worst thing they ever do. You'll have to wait and see how but that no, it goes. Was, it was Bertie. It was Bertie. Question five. Which of the following is not a colour top worn by the four boys at the end? A red, B blue, C green or D yellow? I'm going to say... Blue. It was blue. That's the correct oh. answer. What well, guess? Oh, is it a guess? Yeah. Is that your favourite colour, blue? No. What's your favourite colour? Green? Yeah. Because of Peter Sun? No. no. Just I've always liked green. Uh, episode three now. Passengers in Polish. Or Passengers in Polish, as you uh, mistook it for. Uh, should we move on to question one of, of uh, Passengers in uh, Polish? Yeah, why not? Question one. In the opening shot, Nancy and her father are stood at what station? A, lakes- a Lakeside, B Crovens Gate, C Callan or D Glenock? Uh, that's that's a tough one, is it? it? I don't think the ne- name's actually spoken. I think you have to sort of look at the sign. I'm gonna say Glenock. Glenock. Mm. How disappointing! You're wrong. Yeah. Do you know what it was? What would have been your second guess? Lakeside, Crovens Gate, or Callan? Crovens Gate. It was Callum. Oh. Oh, well. That's not good at all. No, it's not. That's one. That's one. Question two. What colour is Nancy's bucket? A, silver, B, uh, blue, C, brown, or D, red? Her her bucket was red, I do believe. Yeah, she doesn't see many red buckets. They're usually used for fire, aren't they? Fires. Yes. Red buckets. She probably has nicked the fire bucket, in all fairness. <laughs> what a terrible <laughs> thing to do for a guard's pretty, daughter. I'm pretty sure that's not against the law. <laughs> they go, they go, they go. There's a fire break out in the shed. They go to get the sand out of the red bucket. Where is it? She's she's filled it full of water to polish scarlet. I think a guard's daughter would be bought up better than that. Well, you would think so. It's bad, would. bad parenting on his bad part. Parent. Question three. Duncan and his crew stop on the causeway in hope of doing what? A. Refilling Duncan's water tank. B. Raising more steam. C. Wasting some time. Or D. Pleasing the tourists in the train. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I think they do it to raise steam. They do. Question four. Where is Duncan when he refuses to move? A. The picnic area. B. Crovens Gate. C. The viaduct. Or D. Lakeside. Uh, I do believe he's on the uh, the wonderful looking uh, viaduct. He is indeed, and it is a beautiful viaduct, that one. It's miles high, isn't it? Imagine miles if he fell off that. And they stand on those little platforms it, on the yeah. side. You think if one of them gives yeah. way. Just rotten wood, you know, he could just. just he just got a sheer drop to his death, yeah. hasn't he? Yeah. It'd be, In, fun, it'd be funny to watch. <laughs> do you reckon they do bungee jumping off of that? I don't know. Perhaps they do. Perhaps they do. See, if I was mayor, I'd, <laughs> I'd make it. As... Yeah, so elect Calico for mayor. <laughs> a national holiday. <laughs> he'll turn the he'll turn the narrow but... gauge rail <laughs> viaduct yeah. into a bungee jumping resort. Question five now, last one of passengers in Polish. Who... Polish. 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 <laughs> Who comes to pull Duncan to the station after he refuses to move? A. Reneus. B. Peter Sam. C. Duke. Or D. Scar Lowy. Well, that would be the. Uh... The master of the Scarlowy Railway, being the man himself, Scarlowy. Scarlowy. We move on now to episode four, which is called Gallant Old Engine. Or in America, I think it's called The Gallant Old Engine. Oh, we have to point that out. Yeah, because it's not Pacific enough. It could be (laughs) any Gallant Old Engine. It's The Gallant Old Engine. (laughs) Question one. Which of the following is not mentioned as being something Duncan grumbled about? A, not being polished, B, pulling trucks, C, being overworked, or D, passengers? Something about trucks. Is that your answer? Yeah, because um, I heard everything, I heard the three other things, so I'm going to say the things about the trucks. It was, it was, he didn't complain about the trucks, although most engines do. Wouldn't that come in the uh, overworked sort of thing? Yeah, probably. Question two, according to Scarlowy, what makes the passengers cross? A. Lateness, B. Rudeness, C. Stopping between stations, or is it D. Rough rolling? I'm going to say vulgar slang. <laughs> <laughs> no, what is it? Uh, 
well, stopping where he's not supposed to. Stopping between stations? Well, yeah. Well, that's correct. Okay. Question three. What does Reneus experience in Scarlow's story? A. Headache. B. Stitch. C. Sickness. Or D. Cramp. Cramp. Ah! Ah, I've got cramp. Ah, I've got cramp. <laughs> Is that your answer? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just shouted it for no reason. <laughs> yes, it was cramp. Question four. What does the driver call Reneus? A. Gallant little engine. B. Gallant old engine. C. Gallant red engine. Or D. Gallant credit to the railway. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna, I run out of options there. I'm going to say gallant old engine. What, because the uh, the episode is called Gallant Old Engine? Yeah. You're wrong. He calls him Gallant Little Engine. Get you're out a, of here. You're a Gallant Little Engine. What? So what, what? Why, is it, why is it called the Gallant Old Engine? No idea. Question five. Which engine brings Reneus home? A. Percy, B. Thomas, C. Henry, or D. Edwardo? Ah, the old Steady Eddie. It was. Can you believe it? This must be record time. We're on the fifth episode already. Well, that's... Under 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, of recording. <laughs> Not no, that it won't be 30 minutes to the viewers. No, but we are under 30 minutes of recording, which we is are. quite quite unusual for us. Yeah, it is. Rusty to the rescue. Did you like this one? Did you, uh, did you like it? What was it called? Rusty to the rescue. Yeah, it was all right. It was quite good. It was, it was um, I was a bit of a copy of the old the story when they found uh, Oliver. Don Oliver. Question one: What is Rusty doing when Thomas passes by? A. Taking on diesel fuel. B. Having a rest. C. Taking on water. Or D. Having his wheels oiled. Why do you have your wheels oiled for? I don't know. Do I? Why would you oil anything? Um, he's taking on water, I do believe. He is, he's or having a drink. Having a drink, as they say. Question two. When Rusty goes to inspect the sidings, a sign can be seen. What does the sign say? A. Diesel oil. B. No entry. C. Diesels park here. Or D. Only diesels allowed beyond this point. I think the answer is diesels park here. Do you? I do. I'm pretty certain. How that. certain? Okay. Would you put your life on it? No, but you're quite certain. Quite certain, ninety-eight. So you'd put your sister's life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe even yours. <laughs> ah, you're correct. Question three: When Rusty tells that his driver about the plan, what colour car can be seen? A green, B blue, C red, or D black? I'm gonna say green. Your favourite colour? Yes. And it is. Oh, great! Fantastic! It's fantastic. Question four. Which flowers are mentioned frequently throughout this episode? A. Daffodils, B. Pansies, C. Poppies, or D. Bluebells? Um, well, as it's called the Bluebell Railway, they keep mentioning Bluebells. Yeah, they do. That's why he has to go in search of an engine who likes Bluebells. Mm. Luckily no. enough for him, he finds one. <laughs> Question five. Which of the following characters is not seen when Stepney and Rusty arrive home? A. Peter Sam, B. Scarlowy, C. Bertie, or D. Percy. What kind of voice was that? It was sort of half Irish, but a very half assed Irish. <laughs> uh, right. uh, I'm going to say Peter Sam. Peter Sam wasn't there. So you're correct. Great. Fantastic. Great. Fantastic. Shall we tally up the scores? We shall. Shall we? we, sh- we well, shall. we'll be back in a second when we've tallied them up. Hello and welcome back. Uh, <laughs> You scored 23 out of 25. Uh, that's not that bad. That's it's, your it's, average. It's average. It is average. Okay, since we've got a little bit of extra time, not yeah. actually in real life because we're quite pushed for time, yeah. but on <laughs> the, in, uh, in Steam Team Quizzes land, yeah. we've got some extra time. Yes. So can you talk to us about those episodes? What did you think? Because they starred your two favourite engines, uh, Duncan and Peter Sams. You know, some of the episodes were Duncan's episodes and some were Peter Sams. What so did you think? The first one, Special Funnel. Yeah, I, do, I quite like his new funnel. It looks slimline. It is. It does streamlined, look good. isn't um, it? But no, it was a good uh, story. Yeah, as much as it could have been. It can. It could have been a bit more action packed. Like when the fun, when the ice school hit his funnel, you could have made a bit more of, a, of it. But ah, so you could have said that. Yeah. Or something like, like, ah, I got cramped. Something like that. Yeah. Know? Ah, I got cramped. <laughs> um, 
Or, or the, the funnel could have shot off in front yes, of it. Yes, yeah, it could have. I, I, I don't know. But, but that's all. Uh, that's either here nor there. It is as it is. Yeah, uh, yes, exactly. It is as it is. Steamroller, what do you think of George? Uh, he's quite uh, quite the nuisance, isn't he? He is. You'll love the Series 5 episode with him. him in. There's two spectacular crashes, and it's called By George. As yes. in, is it uh, the yes, old the English? crash that was in there. That one. Yes, yeah, Steamroller. Uh, well, when he rammed into uh, Sir Handel's train, yes. the uh, trucks were still standing upright. They was, but, but in the yeah, close-up... But in the close-up, they were falling over. Yeah, that's right. Uh, hello, hello, hello. And then, yeah, and then you got obviously got the uh, the Cockney policeman. You got the um, the kind of half assed yeah. policeman. Hello, hello, hello. What's oh, going on? No, no, no. Doesn't really seem to pay much attention to it. No. He doesn't seem really that bothered. No. Um, and then the next one, uh, passengers in Polish. <laughs> <laughs> passengers in Polish. Yeah. Um, that was quite a good one. That was a that was a Duncan. That was a Duncan. Yeah. It was a it's typical a Duncan. Typical, typical Duncan being awkward as ever. Yep. Not very polished either. He's quite uh, rough, quite rough. grimy. Yes. Uh, the gallant old engine. Obviously a nice uh, a one about the um, the first of the uh, but narrow can we, gauge. Can we just ask an, uh, ask the audience? Can an engine get cramp? <laughs> really? Well, I suppose is their equivalent of cramp. Yeah. So I, yes, you can. <laughs> But it, what is there actually a proper technical term for it, or is it just cramp? <laughs> <laughs> ah, got oh, cramp. And then uh, Rusty to the rescue. That was a very good one, but obviously it's pretty similar to the uh, the standard gauge story. Or oh, escape. Yeah. So what did you th- what do you think of uh, Stepney? He looks good. He do- he looks a bit like Duck. A bit like Duck. And obviously Oliver. Those sort of. That. He looks like a Great Western engine. Yes. Right. Well. So, um, you think of an outro. Ready? Uh, uh, yeah. uh, goodbye. You got one? You got one? Not we yet. good to go? I will make, right. one. I'll make one up <laughs> as I get there. Right, so leave a comment below, of course. We always like to hear your comments. Make sure you uh, don't fake your results, because <laughs> no. that's not the way it's played. You'll be a fool to yourself. <coughs> We're on to you. <laughs> we know where you live. But no, the more comments, the better, because yeah. we like to know how people we are do. getting on. We like lots of comments, so uh, comment two or three times, if you like. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. But, um... We'll see you again, same time, same place, next week. Won't we? We will. We will. And we'll be here waiting. We will. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye from me. And from Calico, it's... Bye, Jingo, old goats. Right. OK. Yeah, that's <laughs> that, was that right? Yeah, that's yep. a wrap. <laughs> that's a wrap. <laughs> thanks right, for viewing, thanks. anyway. Thank yes, you. Thanks We're off now. We're off to get into the Got a song for your drain pipe? <laughs> yes. I'd rather not tell you what it is. <laughs> no, it's Wee Willy Winky, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs>